Good day, YouTubers. Today I'm going to explain on how to install a swivel set onto your rifle or your shotgun. You use a swivel set so that you can use a sling. And they are handy. Today I'm going to put install that onto a shotgun from the 70s, just a CIL 410. What you're looking for in a swivel set is a screw where it has a tip on it, a head, where you can put a pin through in the mounting brackets so you can just simply attach your sling. For this, you will need a drill, a drill bit. For wood stocks, you want a 3 16th. For a synthetic, it's recommended to use a 5 32nd. Masking tape, a tape measuring device, for your choice of oil, and I like my rim oil, and dish soap. Let's begin. This swivel set, what you're looking for is, that's what I'm talking about, the screw with the pin head in it. A little washer. And the piece that will eventually hold your sling. So, always read your instructions. You never know what you're going to learn in them. Um, so, the problem that I had with this is that I have a hole already, however I don't have a sling in it. It used to have a sling, but that's in small and gone. Secure your rifle or your shotgun, your firearm, in a vise. I like to use a made purpose-built gun vise for that. So in, a, in order to install your swivel, you will have to drill into your stock. Again, for wood, it's the 3 16th drill bit for this particular kit, or 5 32nd. Um, so in order to do that, you know, your instruction manual does say to do half an inch. So I measure half an inch. And, and to ensure that I don't go over, I simply took a piece, took a sharpie to it, and now I use my masking tape to ensure I don't drill too deep into my stock. They also recommend that you lube your drill bit. This will help prevent splitters and excess wood coming out of it. They also recommend you, for your screw to take a little bit of soap. And again, it's the same theory. So that you won't pull out excess grains or cause any splintering to your, to your stock. So, now we draw. Surely that it's perfectly vertical in that it's snug. So I like this vise because it's these are padded rubber holders and it's snug, it's not going anywhere. It's not gonna slide out. If you are going to use a homemade like a vise in your garage, at least take microfiber cloths or something soft to either side of it. You don't want to leave an indent for your vise into your stock. There, you know, some are really beautiful, some are not. Anyways, here we go as far as the masking tape. And I just let it do the work. And I'm not going to go too hard, not going to go too fast. There we go. Release it. And then we'll stop. So the next step, ensure that your screw, your tapping screw, has enough dish soap on it. You know, I just dried it off a little. And that hole, you can use a screw, you can use a nail, I'm just going to use like a little screwdriver to twist it around inside the hole. Ensure that you place your collar on there as well. It's kind of like a little washer. So. Start turning it in there and it starts biting in on its own. And then when it starts to get resistance, just use your screwdriver or your nail. And twist it. I'll do one more. Do one more here. 
and the OCD in me wants it to be perfect 90 degrees, and it's out. So now you have your swivel attachment. Most of them come with a little screw. This one has a flat head on it if you like it. But essentially all that you do, you unscrew it. You know, once it's all the way, once it's loosened, simply push it. Once it's loosened all the way, you just simply push it. And this end will just fall down. So at that end, put it in through your hole. Push that screw again. Slide it down. Release and tighten it back up. Use a flathead if you'd like. I've always just gone finger tight. I've never had a problem. But once that's on there, she's staying on there. So there you have it. That is how you install your swivel mount. Some slings that you purchase will actually come with this piece already with them, and that's a bonus if they do. Some do not, and some firearms even have a pre-installed or pre-tacked on uh, sling mount, which then you have to loop your sling through yourself, so on and so forth. Regardless, anytime you work on a rifle, be safe. I always keep a trigger lock on, and I always ensure that it's empty. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, comments, or further advice from me, feel free to leave it in the comments or message me. Thank you and have a great day.